Hello everyone, today's um, problem will be a conservation of energy problem when we have an object uh, located at a height age above the ground uh, starting at rest, initial velocity of zero uh, and we want to calculate the final speed of the object when it reaches the ground using conservation of energy. To solve this problem, we have to follow the strategy that I introduced to you in my PowerPoint slides, which means we need to pick two important points in this motion of the object and set the energies equal to each other. Um, in, this, in this very simple problem, there is no non-conservative force, no external force, such as air resistance or friction, so therefore we don't have to worry about that aspect of the strategy. So uh, we are going to, to look at the motion of the object from this point to this point, so therefore the two important points that I'm going to pick and label them A and B will be this point here and the ground over here B. Then the next thing that we have to do is um, pick and show what the level of reference will be for this problem because any object that is not on that level of reference will have to have possess potential energy. If the object is above the level of reference, it will have positive potential energy below the level of reference will have negative potential energy. If it's on the level of reference, the object will not have potential energy. So uh, I am going to pick for the level of reference the ground and I'm going to write over here next to it LOR, which is the symbol for the level of reference. That means any point above the ground will have potential energy. Uh, obviously, any point below the ground would have two, but uh, we don't care about what's happening below the ground. So therefore, at point A, the object will have potential energy because point A is at a distance age above the level of reference. So what we have here is only potential energy. I'm going to show that with a symbol for potential gravitational energy, UG. Uh, and because the object is at rest, there will not be kinetic energy, only potential energy. So at point A, we only have potential energy. At point B, the object is in motion. That's exactly when it touches the ground before it stops. So therefore, it will have kinetic energy. But because point B is on the level of reference, there will not be any potential, gravitational potential energy. So at point A, we have gravitational potential energy. At point B, we have kinetic energy. So according to the strategy, we are just going to set those two energies equal to each other. And by the way, this is our energy diagram. Uh, so we're going to set UGA equals to KB. UGA is going to be M times G times H. KB is going to be one half m v f squared. Uh, divide both sides by the mass, since it's not given. Gives us GH equals one half v f squared, and solve for v f is going to be square root of two GH, which is what we need to determine with respect to what is given. So that's our final answer. We are finished. Thank you.